What's going on everybody? It's is Bry. So today we're doing an idea. I don't know if I've ever even really tried this. This is a control brain freeze deck. Uh, after scraping away all the fat that I was originally running uh, in this list, like Locust Worm and Piano, I decided to go much more with our normal mid, but we're not necessarily... You don't need to win with your Pogo, your Mug, and your Yeti. Uh, since we're running four Plank Walkers, going to be really using those as control cards in order to get to the late game. Uh, with the finisher, Plank Walker, again, let's spawn two other pirates. Usually when you play this, you'll be able to win the game um, uh, pretty quickly. So the early game is very good. Instead of dog running cheese cutter, since it really kind of makes them have to answer this, you're going to start conjuring cards. Also running Nibble, which removes guys and heals. We're running the uh, Cyborg Zombie, which hunts them and also actually gives you another hunting late game card. This five drop Vengeful Cyborg will actually be useful on turn six and seven when you kind of are still stalling for Plankwalker. Is a five five plus hunt. Uh, an Extinction Event, again, can remove one uh, key unit or a bunch of uh, duplicates. Uh, so you got your control environment, you got your removal card in Alien Ooze for turn 3, which works either on heights or in environments. They're going to anyway, against Brain Freeze, be playing on heights a lot to play around our environment and uh, around our Acid Rain power and our Frozen Tundra. So uh, the Alien Ooze should be pretty effective. Pogo, again, will bounce everything off the field. It will reactivate when you play a uh, mix-up Gravedigger. On turn 4, for our other 4-drop, uh, running sneezing zombie so this can actually feel clear you know it can deal with uh just some pesky you know mushroom or bean strategy and this can also be reactivated uh by the mixed up grave digger it'll pop back in and pop out and Shut then up, give everything on the warning. field minus one minus I'm one bounty hunter and for your opponent for this deck uh, I didn't want to go hunting grounds because it doesn't really synergize with most things in this deck they either have hunt or are gravestones so they don't get that instant value when played into the hunting grounds uh, I wanted to go really more of a control deck. I kind of almost wanted to not even run these really strong mid cards and run the piano and the and locust or maybe we'll do that at a different time. Um, this also is really good obviously against heal decks uh, because it makes them not able to heal. Let's see how this deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. Get right into the game. We should have time for 10 games today, even though it's a control deck. This, these games should go pretty fast. So if you think this deck will win 8 out of 10 games, vote yes, yeah, 7 or fewer. Vote no over here at the live stream twitch.tv forward slash prime up. Prime up. We will look for that early game. This is okay. Should I keep Nibble? See, against like heroes that can have Admiral Navy Bean or maybe even Mushrooms or maybe even Sunflowers, I would keep this. I don't think this is going to be that useful. In this matchup, I'm gonna play Cheese Cutter on Heights. Forget me nuts, we'll just die to this one too. So let's look for another more useful card here. This definitely goes on Heights to play around Rumble. And again, we want his place to be on the ground here and to be able to use these superpowers. The only problem is if he has garlic, and he does. See what happens here. Okay. One of these. It means that we can acid rain and actually splash some extra damage around, which is cool. Uh, right now we're kind of bricked with all of our fives. That's awesome. Just acid rain does so much here. Uh, so we still need to have a turn four. So we'll go like that. I'm gonna save this for four. Rumble for a six. I'll kill this now if he doesn't do anything. Awesome. So we're up to turn 5. This is when we're going to start having an advantage. We still have 10 health. I think we're okay here. Um, doesn't really matter where this goes, right? Great Buster. That really weakens because we would have gotten a freeze every single turn if we went for that. 
I don't know what this guy's doing. He's not making any... Usually, Brass Knuckles is a very proactive hero, but... I only know what this guy's doing here. So it's gonna be Pogo and Extinction. And then we'll activate it with Mug Mug Mug. That doesn't work on Gravestones, bro. Nice try. Gosh. This guy's being a pain to the tush. So he's running Gravestone, Gravebuster, and Blockbuster. I mean, I don't want to call Sniper on everyone, but kind of sus. Not gonna lie. I don't even know what this guy's going for here. Definitely don't want to bounce one of these things. Who knows? Mug, could adhere to play around Blockbuster, number two. Looks like we're bouncing this back so far. You got this from the Primal? Yep. You got a one drop. We'll probably find out what this. He doesn't play it. Maybe he wanted this back. Nibble, 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 nibble. Back up to 10. <laughs> Meet the sniper. You guys know how it goes. Where's Plankwalker? Uh, we have to do this, so soon. I'm guessing he has another blockbuster. Man's got a lot of card draw. Nope. That doesn't look like that. The fact he put it in front of a pogo makes it look like he's not sniping. But who knows? Nice getting back at the six health. He's down to five now. We're in pretty decent shape. As long as he doesn't have one more blockbuster, we should be okay here. In fact, maybe we should just play around it? I don't know. No, let's go. Gotta bounce five damage, bro. Goes actually here. Or Gormina. Are you see just conjuring these from fucking Clover? So hard to tell. So these are both um, mugs. I think we want. This doesn't really matter, right? Oh. Just go in face for five. Got him. I, it didn't, didn't seem like a sniper, really. He just happens to be running like one block buster and one grave buster. Did I just miss a donation? Thank you to Billy for one dollar. It rings for two bucks. Thank you. 
Okay. Is this the same guy? What's going on? Nope, not the same guy. Play setting of Gallic. So annoying. We such good plays. Early game, not getting it done as much as I would have liked. Really, just looking for these cheese cutters and cyborgs for early, but not happening. Um, we have this next turn. We'll maybe be able to hit a second guy. So. We have 17 health, we're doing just fine. The Gatling P here is still scary. What is going on? It's playing this on points. I don't know. <laughs> Probably be playing around. Tells me we're gonna see it right now. <sighs> They're still doing 10 damage here. Eh? I probably should have killed this one. Gosh. Usually just lose. Probably should have frozen this one for this reason. Yeah. Gatling P is strong. So we have to alien use this. Might as well just clog a lane, right? I don't feel like we're gonna survive here. <laughs> Three Gatling Peas. That will do it. One and one. Honestly, in that situation, you know, Yeti was worse than Locust Swarm. Would have really done a lot more. Maybe I'll make the switch during the stream. Really like to see this. Fine starting hand. Oh, I bounced it, you're right. Oh, so I, I had to block it because of Gatling P, of course. Yeah, you guys are right. I goofed. It didn't matter, he had a black IP anyway. Didn't matter at all. I guess we want to save the environment for next turn. That does not work, bro. Nice try. Ooh. <laughs> Does the damage before it makes the minion, and then the last thing that happens is the hunt. I had the right idea, but...
Reincarnation. He, <laughs> he thought it would survive against this guy in the environment, I don't know. Okay, get frozen. Wow. This will bounce the banana launcher. Don't freeze this one. <sighs> we'll do like freeze nibble next turn. Looks good to me. The freeze nibble. Alley news is five. Yeah, well, so we'll have seven. This looks good. Uh, we could go to also just brain freeze. Freeze nibble. Looks good. Sad Sonic <laughs> feels bad. Uh, we don't have the nibble play anymore, though. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. So we'll freeze this one. We. I'll still do this because it's fun. I think I'm nibbling you. <laughs> See, yeah, these are they're getting thick. No, they're not done yet. Keep it going, Yetis. This frozen guy punches himself in the face. That's nice. Yee. I think it's enough damage to kill the black eyed pea. What do you guys think? The plank walker is so sad. I'm going for double alien I don't care. OTK Yeti. Even if he puts team ups here, I can kill both of them. Alright guys, here's the play. Cosmic Shroom, Doom Shroom. Let's get it done. That's why you gotta run Cosmic Shroom, guys. Which I do control, like, <laughs> it's actually happening. Like, literally? Literally OTK. Well, that was fun. What are the bets, by the way?
He 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 ha is right. He he ha. He 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 ha. I just, I just recorded the Clash Royale roast, and I have to. I, I took like eight takes of he 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 ha. <laughs> Coming soon to roast him up. This looks good. <laughs> Boop. Too bad we didn't get these against the solar hero. Spelling that with J's doesn't really work. Okay. Uh, this is fine. Red Stinger sometime? I don't really like Red Stinger. It dies to Bungie Plumber. An extinction event, and I don't know. The two health is so sad. But give me an idea for it and I'll do it. And a 4 cost 2 7 is also sad. <sighs> oh, we all have to do. I don't know. Yay, sneezing. I know, it's Captain Combustible. We're extremely unsafe. Bruh. Bruh. Okay. Okay? <laughs> He's going for the Lily combo. Look at this guy. What is Glip Glop over here? What do we do? I think it's like to environment into sneezing next turn or something like that. Okay. Okay. Jeez. This guy's being annoying. No blocks. Imagine blocking. Bye, Cyborg. You're dead. La di da. The good news is he doesn't really have cards. I don't know what this party time is about. Like, pop shrimp deck. But anyway. Guess I'll give one of these. Yeah. Man, I don't know. Maybe we'll blow. Maybe we'll not blow. Maybe that. Now if this gets hit, it doesn't die. Uh, I guess Mug blow. This is turn seven, so awkward. We have fives and threes in our hand. Okay, so he just passed two turns in a row. I don't really know what's happening here. Not really sure what's going on. Maybe he's like saving up for a Pete Moss combo. He, that's the first time we've hit him in this game, though. Come on, man. Come on, man. So we have the alien is. That's weird. Still have no clue what he's going for, but. Mm. 
Wow. Someone told me that he had a pee behind a torchwood. Ki they killed a, 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 a portal technician. Spawned a gadget scientist, which went face because it killed the torchwood instead of hitting the pee behind it. It almost reminds me of that time we had a trickster go face in a very similar scenario. I think it was a Bad Moon Rising or something. Um, so yeah. Have you ever done it? There's some really weird game mechanic that if something does a bonus attack while a minion's dying and goes through the back minion. It's not even a game mechanic, it's a glitch. Okay. He's doing two damage to the 5-5. Five, five. Cause yeah. I don't understand. Really sure what that game was all about. We're three and one now, right? Oddfather Wingnut. Um I almost did one once. <laughs> I think we canceled it because it was like it was a special day or something. I never went back to it. <laughs> What's my favorite dinosaur in the game? I mean, the most effective is Triceratops. Who's the most fun dinosaur there? I think Lasaurus, when you make it de deadly, is pretty fun. I'll go with that. I kind of like little uh, little raptor in a in a spit out root deck though. And you can give it extra health with photosynthesizer. Lots of radish. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe he won't have an answer to the cheese cutter, and we'll just protect it two times. Very unlikely. You're never safe from pass, pass, dry game shrimp banana bomb. That is true. Finally, get to play Plank Walker, which is kind of the whole point of this deck. Yes, we have the two for one answer. No Plank Clones for you, bitch. You guys know how the song goes. Ba -ba banana. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just go here. We'll get Frozen Child going. I'm really not afraid of the two damage in lane one, so we'll just ignore him. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this. Look at this guy. This is not cool. This is not cool. Yes, he has no cards left though. Feels bad, man. Um, this is a pretty good time to freeze. 
Four, five, six, seven. The one on the left hunts too. So he's not gonna be able to save this uh, Triceratops, which is pretty awesome. It's the cyborg army. Heck yeah. This is actually a two for one. Three for one if you count the fact that we're uh, getting some cheese done here. Um, the question is. I think I don't commit this environment yet. I probably should use the environment instead of the nibble there, though. We need a leap! Because now we this dies. K E K W. Coop. I think you bucketed for six months. Oh boy, here we go. So we're gonna end up with all these cards. He's gonna end up with nothing on the board. Should have gone for the environment. The nibble's better. Thank you for killing your own field, though. That was really nice. Splash. We didn't really have much of a choice there. Typically, things in the water are better. Let's see if we go like that. We also want the six to hit first. Plankwalker one. What will it spawn? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Thanks. Doing pretty well. The alien news have been good. Do not play this on heights against Wall Knight. Always make this mistake. Size to corn. Finally, Cheese Cutter's doing something. Let's go. Very sad indeed. I'll save this. And we could have really used it to cycle there. Well, it doesn't always say that anyway. Cry over him, that's cool on the stick. Actually, really good. Free environment. I really thought he was gonna spike me there. This guy's just not doing anything. Na 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 na. Wow, we can't even do it. Um. The trapper doesn't <laughs> solve this problem here. I, I think using the uh, let's let's just use the extinction when this it turns it from a losing trade into a losing trade. It's gotta be worth it. Don't even know why I have so much pause for that. It's not overkill at all. I made the Red Stinger deck for you, but you spent all your fries on that. Maybe I'll get some back, you'll win the, win the bet. No, you voted no, you're not gonna win the bet. Big garbage. Um, it doesn't really matter where this is. I think we want something to be... I don't know. It's, this guy kind of... In the losing game right now. We have one cost bonus attacks and all kinds of stuff going on. We'll play the trapper to finish it. Even though it is another freeze next turn, I think that's more valuable actually. Think about it. It's if we don't play the trapper, 
It's 4 4. In fact, we could just play the Trapper next turn, too. Oh, God. Mug might have been the play. I don't know. He kills the one that has one health instead of one with two health. Because, yeah. Because, I don't know. We we So he needs a super. I guess Geyser would do it too. I guess Walnut would do it too. I guess all of his powers would actually save him there. Yeah, Bubble also does. Uh Mug is the play, but coffee's cooler, so we'll go coffee. Coffee. Maybe coffee's better, actually. Oh my gosh. Lame. It means we get to play Plank Walker. Good day for all the juice. I'll take that card, thank you. Squish. So he's down to one health. Brain Bender. Rainbender. Uh, this looks awesome, but it's just Plank Walker. <laughs> awesome indeed. It means we can freeze. Uh. Yeah, I guess since we need one damage, playing this is correct. Whoopsies. Oh, Warlord, nice. Not bad at all. I should have played the Brain Fender. Would have been a, it would have been a negative one cost three two. That's a good deal. A fine deal indeed. The show must go on. <laughs> Pretty good. Against Trey Carrot Tops. Conceded because of Swabby. There you go. If you are out socializing, what is your drink of choice? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, 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 octopus likes to fight beer. It's pretty good. Made over here, actually. Not that far away from where I live. Over here in Toronto. <laughs> Best beer. God damn it. <sighs> um, just Pogo Mug, I guess. Looks good to me. Okay. That's nice. Um, I, I think the, the ramping means he'll be able to play a really big guy next turn, and keeping the pogo alive means we'll be all this bounce said guy. So he's just gonna wasting all the extra brains. And this will just die for free anyway. Due to bounce. Oh, yeah. 
I don't want to get it. Oh my gosh, now I get it. Get, get blockbuster. Definitely one of the things that can do this deck. Freeze is a thing. Nibbles a thing. Uh, if he's going for a turn eight Astro Vera, then <laughs> this kind of screws it up. So there's that. Also means he can't play Walnut Bowling next turn. I like this play. Thing tells me he's gonna just play a big like Astrocado, and we're just gonna freeze it. Cobb Cannon is the thing there. I wonder if he was going for Astro Baron and he's just frustrated now. Okay. So do we nibble? I don't think Freeze really does enough here. Let's see. That's a soul patch. I'm gonna need a Pogo to deal with that. Looking for Plank Walker right now. Uh, we'll go with Mug. Maybe like this. Oh, if you play Astro Vera when sneezing zombies on the field, does your max health go to 30? Uh, that's a really good question, Starge Lord. Um, I'm guessing the answer is yes. Now, well, if we see an Astro Vera, we'll take a look, I suppose. But, um... I'm guessing yes. Because it, it seems like... I don't think that the, the maximum health going up by 10 should have anything to do with the healing. It... I'm, I'm guessing it's two separate abilities. I don't know why why they should go hand in hand. I don't think getting your max health up counts as healing. That it would be can't be healed. I don't think it counts as being healed. It doesn't. For example, your max health going up doesn't proc Pepper MD a second time. It's not called a heal. Anyway, I rest my case. Let's. So this will be four, five. Um. Could just nibble and do this later. We just need this to survive. And extinction event doesn't actually kill that. Smack. Means that it would have died the next turn though. Maybe extinction was better. Meaning he's going to remain at 20. I'm guessing he'll remain at 20 health. His max health will be 30. So if you kill the smelling zombie, then use a taco, you go up to 24. My guess is that's how it works. Now, the soul patch doesn't get hurt here. This man just gets frozen. I thought the extinction event would have been better. And then the nibble. There's no way that hurts the soul patch. I don't know, man. I can use this card. We're actually running out of steam here. What's the play? If people were yelling at me for four plank walkers is uh, too much. It almost feels like it's not enough. Love you back, Case Man. Again, once once again to the people, I hate to do this during the middle of essentially a YouTube video, so. But the people here on Twitch chat, if I don't answer your comments, it's because we have like 350 people. I don't know how many people we have here. 300 and over 300. Um, so yeah. 
I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not ignoring you. It's not that I don't like you. It's just that I'm concentrating on a game, giving commentary, looking over at the chest sometimes. But even when I do, there's always 30 messages. And just reading them is this task. Forget about responding to them. You know what I'm saying. It's definitely a losable game. He has enough cards. He just hasn't been pulling them out. I don't really know. Yeah, I I almost wonder. He actually didn't even heal there. I wonder if he's just holding a bunch of heal cards. And that's his story. Can extinction this. Pretty good. He's holding a bunch of heal cards in his hand, and this is getting value. He did not realize how that works. I think it actually tried to heal, which is... We have a game mechanic video. Look it up on what happens when you put things into Total Eclipse. It seems to be a contradiction. If it does heal, it does, and I'm guessing the programs are not card coded consistently. The cards, I mean. But, um... Yeah, man. He's The sneezing zombie is giving us, uh, I think, a lot more value than it even looks like here. It's Pogo. He's trying to activate some damage. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> Let's just keep the sneezing alive. Uh, we have five and five. He already used his super, so that's out of the way. His walnut will work. His bubble will work. Uh, his heal is the saddest one here. Okay. Yeah, his heal doesn't do anything. <laughs> Who would have good one if he got geyser? Feels bad, man. Where's Plankwalker, though? Uh, <laughs> not good enough. That's cool. I'll have to get the five two here. I don't know about this man. Finally healing, but <laughs> for one. Oh my gosh, he just threw. Do we have him now? He might lose because of that for real. I, I bet he has like a taco though or something. He might be afraid to play. No! Good play. So, what do we do now? There's no way to keep this alive. We'll either kill the 5 1 or this. I don't know. Six, two, between 6 0 and 6 2. The thing we might want to do is just hold on to this alien news too because we might need it to open up a lane, like for a Yeti or something later. Yeti will actually win next turn if we hold this. So we'll mix up Gravedigger in lane one. So there's a lot of, this This really might make lethal happen. Gosh, okay, so it's extinction event for these. We're not in good shape. We just need these plank walkers. So this definitely happens. Pretty sure we alien use the power flower, and then we'll block this. It, it, this becoming a 4 4 is not really of substance. Him not getting this extra health is really good. What's that? Uh, Pogo, this makes Pogo win now. Oh boy! Unless he has a blockbuster. Come on, man. Or a team up. Or a heal. Uh. <laughs> I don't like my odds here, not gonna lie. It's just blockbuster, right? He doesn't team up. He does he plays two team, he's going, he's playing around, um, he's playing around, well, he's not playing around Galvanize, but he's playing around, like, Surprise Guard, so it's not a terrible play, but, anyway. And we actually won that game. <laughs> Long game that went to turn 15, or something. 6-7 was turn 14. Goddamn, Black Hole Gondola. With phase hitters. It's a good idea. We've done things like that before. Alright. Let's go for it. Black hole into phase hitters. Neptuna. Black. Hole. Phase. Hitters. Like Tomb Raider. Gondola. Cool idea. Let's look for an environment. Alright. 
Yeah, that game was weird. We'll likely be past a gun turn three, so it won't really be safe anyway. I wonder if we blow this. I'll probably have a better blow later. Alright, let's go. If you can remove his early game, this Dolphinado becomes really good later. If you made a budget huge Giganticus deck. It would be the same as the budget Super Brains or Infinity. It's just Headstone Carver and Pirates. And whatever gravestones you have. That's really weird. So he actually played Plan of the Graves when we passed on turn 3, which typically is not advised unless he's holding a second one. Ugh. A little late to the party, which is okay. Let's just hope he doesn't have a bunch of Puff Shrooms and Shroom for Twos. Like, the fewer cards he draws this turn, the better. That's so sad, bro. He didn't even have Astro Shroom. We see ya. He, he played one card, did one damage to our face. We rolled a three. I think Yeti is right. I, I'm just afraid of a Planet of the Graves, so we can't really do anything around it. And he doesn't know that this Graves done plus five. So for all he knows, that's a cheaper one that can be played together with an environment. Just playing around second Planet of the Graves. And it looks like he didn't have it. I don't, I don't even know what he's running. What are you running? So we'll freeze this. There's a two-thirds of a chance the sideboard lives here, which is nice. <sighs> Not with laser, it would be with black hole. Um, face hitters, you know, maybe stealthia. That sounds cool. I kind of like that. I, I like the decks of Tomb Razor. I think the, the decks of Tomb Razor actually do pretty good. Razor package or whatever we call it. Uh, so we could go Mog. We can also go this and Extinction Event. I kind of like it. Fine clown. <laughs> How did he not have anything to use the two sun on though? Okay, whatever. I wanted to put the sneezing back in the gravestone. It feels bad, man. Yay. Yay. Uh, we're just mugging here. Um, probably want this to go face, right? Yeah. Green tree super. <laughs> One squirrel herder to get rid of plant elegance. Oh, man's coming in with a molecule. Look at this guy go. Jeez, that's a picanola. That's huge. Uh, still freeze you. It's not actually huge. Your mom is actually huge. Okay, here we go. The, the freeze is real. I think his guys should die because of the winter squash. Come on. Hey, this actually says when a zombie or a gravestone is frozen, destroy it. I didn't realize that it said or a gravestone, because a gravestone is not a zombie. I always thought that was some exception to it. thought it wasn't worded correctly. I suppose I was wrong. Uh, that... Let's just plank walker. Hmm. Should I do it here? I think this is more fun. Come on, gondola. Come on, Swabby. <laughs> I guess we're never gonna find out. How many people can see between the, pl the Plankwalker getting played and it's flying its minions? Huh. <sighs>
Yeah, I don't really know that back then. They changed the the text in 2017. Did it? Oh, when when like Cool Bean became a thing. All right, guys. I think we should keep this hand. Look good to me. Gosh. Okay. At least we have Cyborg against Sass Knuckles. We've made a deck called Splash Knuckles before, right? Galactic Cactus and like Hibernating Berry, I don't remember what else. It's moving them in! Time to rumble! It's a lot of. <laughs> okay, or you can just banana though. One of those. No plays for like two turns. I don't know what is going on. Okay, in case we get sneezing, that'll be. Look at, this. Look at the brick, guys. It's called Brick City. Oh, sorry, the score disappeared. I'm feeling the seven and two scenario coming up. No, jeez. <laughs> okay, so we have one environment. Oh, we actually have two left in our deck. What am I supposed to do? He's gonna be feeding the whole time, though. How am I supposed to deal with this? Okay, I, I'm just gonna keep the forget me nuts there. I, I can't, I can't have him getting a two-two buff on every single minion he plays for the rest of the game. So, so yeah. Oh yeah. La di da da. We a frozen bitch. Ye. Uh, I mean, we're never going to play this if we don't play it now. Uh, I don't care. This doesn't really do anything. Alright, here comes the next freeze. The next iteration of freeze him up. Yep. Here comes the blockbuster. Guys, force field Lily. That's the real play. Oh, I should have played the... Forgot, I can't play any of my tricks here. Can't play any my tricks. Guess we're protecting our face and we'll just try to kill him with Blockbuster. Time to eat. You smell like feet. Uh, I guess there's Monk. Well, we can mug the Plankwalker after. I, I think these healing is good. Look at the freeze. Something happened. Fry, you did a lily. Go nuts deck. What about doing the deck plus adding red snapper? Lily? Well, uh, Red Stinger's a really bit one of the worst team ups with Go Nuts because it only activates Go Nuts one time. Would it work with Lily? Interesting. Lily of the Valley. He just completely passed there. I don't know if he was playing around our Brain Free Super or what he was doing. Um. This is actually about as good of a blow as we get. So we'll do it like that. Doing the I like the plank walker in five here. That's a lot of damage. I like her full block meter too. Pretty good. Above average. He's rumbling for what though? That's no, just a drop out of the ocean against five and six health minions. Okay. And. 
<laughs> too slow. Mug Plankwalker is being said. We usually just win here anyway. Imagine not blocking a second minion that turn and relying on rolling a two and a three. <laughs> Murphy's Law. So glad you didn't get time to shine. This blockade is the thing keeping us alive. Should I just mug? I don't know. I guess Blockbuster is kind of his main way he wins here. We can always nibble this card. I think we just Yeti here so we don't lose the game to Blockbuster. Dear God. What am I freezing? I'm extinctioning. Um, I guess we freeze this one because it's not really dying here, right? I don't remember. Okay, well, it froze this one automatically. Now what do we do? Wait, is there no way to go face? I, I feel like there might have been a way. Nibble... Uh, Nibble Alien News is pretty good anyway. I feel like Extinction Event might be good. About as good a play as any. Prevents him getting the card draw. This mug dies. Both mugs die. I'm doing six. I don't know. Uh, Plank Walker. Yep. We had Lethal Lane 4. Oh, it was Alley and it was Nibble here. Good job, guys. Sorry, I screwed it. I messed it up. It was here. That'd be pretty good. He is protected. So now it's guaranteed lethal if we take a nap. Um. So which one? If he he rolls a one and nothing, there's no way of losing here, right? La la la. la. Yay! Arr. Grr. Grr. <laughs> I don't know if do anything. We. Alright, guys. At least we didn't get soul patch. And that will be the bet. Congratulations, everyone who voted yes. Like literally what I'm talking about. Yeah, it was BM, okay. I wanted to play second plank walker. Uh that's cool. I think two of these is not too much. The Ansoi is yes. Turns out the plank walker is being absolutely necessary in this deck. Probably just, you know, the mid version with the laser base is better, but this is cool. Me. You're annoying. Guess we'll use this to kill it. Okay. We too bad we didn't have this last turn. Nibble not getting it done. This does get it done against Triceratops so. though. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> the pass. Cyborg too strong.
The best deck for huge gigantic is would be Headstone Carver, Pirates, Pogo, Yeti Mug, Laser Base Alpha bonus attacks. In my opinion. Same as every sneaky hero. <laughs> this is fun. I like the pick back. He passed turn two and turn three on account of cyborgs, currently. Let's use the Shamrock again. Pretty good. Gets rid of a two and a super pack. It's back of five. <laughs> the conjure is real. Cool. We can get this rolling, you just need one trick. What card would I draw that would make this the play? Maybe like if we get an extinction event. Mug isn't really that good here. And I don't want to die to Blockbuster. Alright, let's go for it. And we can play the tree too. If we want. Cute icicle. No, 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 no. It's so interesting. This is protected, but it's sad indeed. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't die. It's down at seven. Oh. I don't know, man. This curve sucks. <laughs> it sucks beans. He's just gonna spam the little buddies now. Maybe we'll win with Plank Walker. Put it here where I dive before the heal happens. It doesn't make any sense. I don't like the chance of surviving here. And you're a 2 3, so you survive. Not how to pepper him, so he'll be at sick now. We'll just play treat treat this next turn. <laughs> Kinda glad he has such a weak guy in the heal station. It's also in 3, so we can like win in other lanes first. So this will go to six. Yeah, the sugary treat wins a couple of lanes here. So now I need a little more. Six and two wins. Got him. Also, conjuring a sugary treat just wins. I didn't even need that because this is this works. All right, guys, that's going to be the nine and one. The plank walkers were actually like not only good, but like necessary in this sort of deck. Level. So heck yeah, I'm going to say that will go on YouTube. It's definitely added something to brain freeze. Uh, I probably will do a version where we're not running any pogo yetis and we're just running like brain freeze control. That'll be fun. Maybe I'll even go graveyard zombot or stupid stuff in that deck. That'll be cool. Alright guys, that was the Control Brain Freeze deck with the mid-strat. Hope you guys enjoyed, that was a good stream. We went 9-1, heck yeah, peace, this is Fry.